Hello, and welcome back, or welcome to Books and Crannies. I'm Danielle. I'm Sarah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say your name first. I just forgot where we go after that. <laughs> you guys, it's time for our weekly personal read check-in. Yes! Uh, so, what, um, what did you read this week, Danielle? You're making me go first. Well, yeah. it's a sad story. Okay. We've been having really good weeks, you know? We just have. Just knocking out reading left and right. We have, yeah. And I just didn't. Okay. Well, that's okay. I had a real bad week. They because, can't all be good weeks. Yeah. But hear me out. Nature said no. Yeah. Absolutely not <laughs> to you reading ever again. Yeah. The wind blew a tree down. <laughs> that uh, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it blew a tree down from its roots and knocked over my fence. So we've been yeah. dealing with that for the entire week. But I read, outside of what we read together, six whole pages <laughs> of A Little Life. Hey. When did I anything honestly, super exciting happen? I don't remember. I have no idea. Got it. Uh, uh, uh what? No. I don't know. <laughs> so probably oh, no. Willem is like banging a girl now on the side. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he can have like, you know, the intimacy side of things, knowing that Jude has no interest. Yeah. And that's about all I remember. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, so yeah, good what job. About you? Thank you. That was the most silent high five, <laughs> and it was very fitting for this situation. I have to remember that I did read 160, no, 44 pages of our podcast book. So. Yeah, and we buddy read a little bit together, which we'll talk about later. So you still read like 200 pages. It's true. So. It's just don't lame. be too hard on yourself. I'm mad at nature, not me. Yeah. Okay. She's pretty rude. She's rude, that girl. Yeah. Come on, mother. Anyway, Sarah, what the heck did you read? I had a good week again. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm happy for you. <laughs> um, so I finished Bride by Allie Hazelwood. Yeah, what'd you rate it? I gave it like 3.75. Okay. Almost four star. Give me your dang review, dude. Um, It was good. There was aspects of it that were just not for me. Specifically in the werewolf category. <laughs> um... <laughs> I have a lot of questions. There's this thing called nodding. Do you know anything about that? Nope. All right. Well, I don't know if you want to. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Does you have to do it. I can make it. <laughs> I'll ask you later. <laughs> Not for me. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it was really good. I liked the story. <laughs> Sorry. I'm torn up. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> do we need to talk about it a little more? <laughs> Is it like a, a dog? Okay. Yep, exactly. Happy. Yep. Happy. Yeah. Ew, why are yeah. you putting that in the book? Yeah, and apparently that's like a big thing in books about werewolves, like smutty books about werewolves. They talk about nodding a lot. It made it a little too similar to like bestiality for me. It just like took me out of it a little bit. Yeah. But it wasn't really included until sort of the end, so it was fine. I would have probably given it a five star if that had not been involved because I liked the story. Um, That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how I'd feel about that <laughs> either. I'm yeah. uncomfortable and I haven't read it. Yeah. Uh, you have to, though. I meant to bring it to you so you'd read it and I forgot. Yeah. So, so you really like the writing. I did like the writing a lot, yeah. And I want to read more of her books now. Um, okay. Yeah. Even though it's romance vibes otherwise. Which is fine. Yeah. I'm not, I'll a, take a I'm not against romance. Then. Yeah. I liked her writing and I really liked the story, the premise behind it. It was like forced marriage between uh vampire and werewolf as means of like a <laughs> I don't want to say it like a treaty okay sort of yeah like more like collateral I guess they were like being used as collateral because the werewolves and the vampires don't get along okay so she the girl is the vampire and she was forced to marry this werewolf as collateral, so like if something were to happen to her, the were or the vampires could declare war on the werewolves. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it was a really interesting premise. Okay. I'll have to read it. Yeah. But a three seven five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got dang nodding. I know. <laughs> kind of weird. Bizarre. Well, what else did you read, Sarah? Um, and then I've read a hundred and like fifty ish pages of. The Thorns Remain by J.J.A. Harwood. Okay. Um, it's like a fae... Oh, I've never heard of this book. I have no idea. I honestly, I've had it for over a year now. I still had the receipt in the book, and I <laughs> bought it in May of 2023. Hey, so, hey full circle. Um, 
And I didn't know what it was about. I bought it because the cover's really pretty. It is pretty. <laughs> as, I'm seeing it on Goodreads. As I do with yeah, yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, uh, of course. Um, <clears throat> How are you liking it so far? I'm really liking it, actually. I've been breezing through it. It's a little weird. It doesn't have chapters. Okay. It only has parts, and they're each, like, 70, 80, 90 pages. Okay, a little life. Ooh. And if you know me at all, I can't just stop in the middle of a chapter, so every time I sit down to read, I'm like, here I am, in for the long haul. <laughs> I'm in for at least an hour and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and the author, I think, is British, and it's very, very British writing, <laughs> uh, which is not a bad thing. It just, like, caught me off guard a little bit yeah. at first. I was like, what? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel like the English is silly. American yeah. English. Well, they're both kind of wild. Yeah. They have their own things. They do. Um, but it's about a girl named Moira Jean. Moira. Who is, lives in this village with some other people. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all poor, it seems, I guess. Um, but her and her friends go off one night into the woods to like have a bonfire basically and they start drinking and they're like dancing and okay. they're dancing like conjures a freaking fae that's who weird. comes and takes all of her friends oh no um, <laughs> that's a terrible ending to a party <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and she like blacks out and wakes up the next day and seemingly is like oh shit i'm blacked out gonna go hang out with my friends again and then her friends are gone and no one in the village remembers that they're missing they're like oh yeah this person that we just saw yesterday no he lives in this other town now he ran off to marry this girl who was with you guys and, okay uh so no one but her knows that they're missing gotcha and so she goes back to the they're place. somehow glamored yeah babe. exactly so she goes back to the place where they were dancing conjure and like yells and Hey! Conjures the friends. Oh, dude. Did she have to dance again? No. Shoot. <laughs> no, she just yelled and he comes out and is like, how dare you summon me this way? <laughs> what up? <laughs> Rude. Um, you took my friends, bro. But yeah, he basically tells her that she's got to like make bargains with him to get her friends back. Okay. But he's real sneaky about his bargains as the Fae are. As they are. You as we know. Specific. Yeah, so okay. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I'll give it to you when I'm you, done for yeah, sure. Yeah, you have many books to bring me. I do. And by many, I mean Bride and that one. And Where's Molly? And Where's Molly? Yeah. Come on. So yeah, I imagine by next week I'll be done with it and can give you a rating and a review. Sick. I'm excited to both hear that and to read it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then, friends, I did read a little more yeah. than six pages yeah. of Little Life. Uh, we read 43 pages? 46, I 46 think. 46 of Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Yeah. Ah. We were really hoping to have more read, but life happens. Tree. Yeah. Wind. Yeah. Fence. <laughs> Catastrophe. <laughs> it's and Danielle fine. also has three large dogs. Yeah. Who obviously need their backyard. Right. And so it couldn't have been like, a, we can put it off to the weekend. Right. It was like, we have to deal with this immediately. Yeah. And then we just decided to take down another tree. So it's like a whole thing. Yes. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's been a week. Yeah. But nonetheless, powerless. We yeah. started it. And I'm enjoying it so far. I am too. I feel like we haven't gotten into the like deep. The nitty gritty, nitty -gritty of and it. I kind of forgot everything. I know. To be honest with you, same. Um, we got through ten chapters. We did, which isn't very far. But what well, we, were... I can refresh your memory a little bit. I, if okay. you don't remember, I remember some bits. I remember some bits too. Okay, it's probably well, the same bits. Okay, that we remember. maybe opposite bits. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how it starts. Well, Peyton is like a pickpocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, her and her friend. Yeah. That I don't remember I don't name remember of, her name. Are, like, living on the street. Yeah, because they're poor, I guess. Poor, yeah. Well, and Peyton doesn't have powers, and you're supposed to have powers. Oh, yeah. Everyone in Powerless has powers. Yeah, but she's Except powerless. For, well, not everybody. The people who don't have powers are banished. They are. Or killed. Or killed, yeah. Or... or <laughs> <laughs> if you're on YouTube, I, you should be. This is not a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to mix them up if you're on youtube i'm glad because we aren't anywhere else uh anyway she doesn't have powers she does but she was taught from a really young age by yep. her dad to uh pretend to be a psychic yeah 
So, and she's pretty good at it. Yeah, like reading She's like people. really good at reading people's body language. and Yeah. Even like when she meets Kai, she looks at the friggin' sand on his feet and is like, mm, I know where you were. Yeah. You shouldn't have been there. You were in the scorches. Yep. Yeah, she definitely is good at like context cluing and, yeah. you know, picking up on way more than I ever do. It's I'm same. not very perceptive. I'm not either. Uh, <laughs> or observant. Yeah. But yeah, that's her shtick. Mm-hmm. And then Kai is the other main character that we've been jumping back and forth between. And he He's is... Like a a prince? prince? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And his power is insane. He, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. I don't either. All of them have crazy power names. Like Crawler means you can climb up walls. And freaking, really, uh, you know, they're really like really. <laughs> descriptive. <laughs> really reaching for those names. Yeah. <laughs> they, they tell you exactly what's happening. Yeah. I don't remember what his is, though. That's remember. funny that we just said it's so easy. <laughs> but essentially he can like take on anyone else's power mm-hmm. you can like absorb other people's powers and use them against them mm-hmm. no that's not his power it is no yes. he, he can sense people's powers he but can he can tell. use them yeah, can he yeah Are you sure yeah he was sparring with his brother in the beginning and he was using his fire oh yeah you're right <laughs> i don't yeah. remember that sarah come Dang, on sorry i was just thinking about the situation with the the dude that came and beat him up and she saved him from the dude i thought well, it the was... silencer stops the his power silencer. that's right i thought the silencer was taking his power but he wasn't he was just he was silencing it, it. he You're said right. shh, shh, power shh. no <laughs> <laughs> we're jumping ahead yeah, sorry, sorry we don't need to tell you the whole damn thing we don't. anyway but this they... is not the podcast yeah come on listen to the podcast but they have an encounter. They run in, into each other. They do. And, and she alley. she steals some money from him. She pickpocket. Well, he has a freaking sack of coins on his hip. He's got a sack on his he's hip. He's asking to be robbed. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know, majestic. No. Well, sure. I mean, I kind guess of, that's true. I think yeah. I was going to say royalty. Yeah. And thought of like your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> it all so goes together. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. But, but a little more. Okay. Hold on. Kai seems like he doesn't really want to follow through with all of his dad's mean orders. Oh, to yeah. Get rid of all sure. the powerless people. For sure. Because he let yeah, one go. He let one go. Yeah. Granted, it was a child. But yeah, but I think. Still. I mean, I feel like that uh, scenario maybe paints a picture of how he. Because he's also like the hand or the, the enforcer. Yeah. He lays down the freaking law that the king spells out. Yeah, he goes and senses. You don't have power, bitch. Bye. Bang, bang, bang. Except probably not that. More like knives. I think they, yeah, like, they be Swore. out here chopping heads off. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, then they run into each they other. They do. She they do. Takes his she money. takes his money. He's like, mm, I don't think you have powers. I can't sense anything. But then she, she convinces, him. convinces him because she sees the dirt on his shoes because he took the kid yeah. to the yeah. what's it Scorches. called? Scorches. Yeah. And then she's like, mm, you shouldn't have been there and you feel guilty. And he's like, oh no. He's like, oh, why God, do you know, know that? Shoot, she must be psychic. Dang. Dang. I'll let her go even though I don't sense anything and that's my whole power. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, it's mundane. You probably wouldn't even feel it. I'm like, is that the how that works? It's because it's a brain thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like his sensing power was not exclusive to just everything but the brain. Right. Like lady. Right. But And was that like a dig? Like, it's in my brain, so you wouldn't be able to feel it because you don't have a brain. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she swindled him, kind of. Although when she leaves, he is like, ah. He like is suspicious of Yeah, her. because doesn't someone else come to like try to rob him? And he's like, mm, my coin purse feels kind of light. Uh-huh. That bitch took my money. Bish. Without her damp powers. Yeah. Fake powers. But yeah, he starts to get robbed. He's like beating up a dude. Uh-huh. And then suddenly the silencer comes into the alley and silences his powers. Uh-huh. And there's a crawler. I think the dude he's beating up is crawl. I don't know. I don't it doesn't know. matter. Mm-mm. But the silencer sounds creepy. He does. He's like tall and slender and yeah. spooky. Spooky. And he can just shut off your power. Yeah, I wouldn't like that very much if I had no, a power. No, that would be rude. Mm-hmm. Especially in the middle of a fight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so Peyton comes back and... She does something. Helps him. Well, she, like, I mean, does stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I think she, like, ate him on the shoulder or something. The silencer. Yeah. Was like, quit it, you. Stop. <laughs> she stops him from silencing yeah. somehow. I. But this whole thing, she's real good at, like, you know, 
manipulating and fighting, I think. Yeah. So she does it. Yeah. <laughs> but this whole thing is a spectacle to all the people. It is. They all see it happen. Mm-hmm. And he is also like, oh, thanks, mm-hmm. honey. And uh, they leave. They do. <laughs> and then it gives Hunger Games. Yeah, because they're all put into this, like, trial. Purge. The Purge. The Purge. That's right. Yeah. And we find out that Kai and someone else that he knows. His and brother. Then, his little his brother, brother. That's right. Like a little one. Yeah. The and then Payton. Jax is his brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Payton is also... They're all being put in. They're all the tossed They're going. In. And Peyton was like elected because of the show. Because of the show she and put she on. And she don't have no powers, y'all. Yeah. That's and not she's going to be going up in this freaking purge against all these peeper, peeper. peepers. All these peepers <laughs> with all their powers. <laughs> Goddamn peepers. Yeah. Stupid peepers. <laughs> Definitely giving Hunger Games. Yeah. I want And it was read two more. from each territory, too. Yeah. It was her and some... Uh, maybe there was three from her territory. There was like Well, a, and there were three from his, too, because oh. it was him and Jax, and then the other person was like, yeah, me too. But there's also two ladies that talk to him that are going. So there was four from Kai's place. It was like that lady he is annoyed by, who's kind of a bitch. Yeah. And her sister or friend or whatever. Yeah. So there's four. How do they be? Yeah. Also, How many? why are there arbitrary numbers? Yeah. Is it four or is it three? Because there's only three with freaking uh, Peyton. But is it? Are we sure? I don't know. I don't know either. I I told you I don't remember anything, right? Yeah. But anyway, it also is sort of making me feel like Serpent and Wings at Night. Yeah. Because... Which was also like Hunger Games... Yeah. uh, Vampire... Twilight vibes. Harry Potter. (laughs) So many different things. Yeah, but that one specifically because the female main character that I don't remember her name in Uh. Serpent... Lil Serpent. Yeah, that's her name. Uh, Araya. Yeah. She doesn't have powers, but she's competing against a bunch of vamps. Oh, yeah. So it's like the same. So here we have Vampire Hunger Games minus the vampires. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Hunger. Hunger Games, Serpent in the Wings of Night. Also Harry Potter. Maybe. Because of the powers. I suppose. I guess. But anyways, good so far. Yeah. I'm excited I'm to read it. It was excited to read more for sure. Yeah, it's another one that's like super hyped mm-hmm. on the TikTok. So... Yeah, TikTok is actually the reason we're reading it yeah, because we did a freaking poll. They voted and we listened. It yeah. was between that and the Red Queen, which is a whole series. Yeah. We'll get to it. I mean Powerless is too. It's yeah, just not, just not out yet. yet. Which, so there's less pressure. Yeah, but we're going to be left with friggin' cliffhangers. Yeah, and there's a novella, though, that we could read. Yeah. That just came out. Yeah. But any friggin' Anyways. who, dude. What did y'all read this week? What did y'all read? Y'all let us know. If you finished a book, leave your rating. Please. If you didn't, let us know what you're thinking so far. Yeah. And if you've read any of the books that we read and that we talked about today, let us know how you feel about them. How yeah. did you like Bride? I need to know. Give us a rating. Do you like nodding? <laughs> Don't go into too much detail, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely let us know. Leave some comments. Yeah. And you know what, dudes? We'll see you next week. Happy reading. Happy reading. Bye. Bye. Bye.